So if you guys didn't know, Tink will be turning six months next month on the 9th. And you know what they say, out with the old, in with the new. For the most part, she can still fit into zero to three clothing, but there's a lot of things in here that I know she will not be able to fit by the time the season comes around. A lot of these clothes were still brand new with tags or just brand new without the tags. So I decided to see what I could get for it. And whatever they can't take, I'll just be donating to somebody in need. Even though it's kind of sad seeing Tink grow out of all of her clothes, hey, I just like looking at it as, that means more shopping! Oh, and I can't forget to give Tinks her props for being so good while mommy was cleaning. She literally played in her playpen the whole time. rise and shine her hair look flat okay hey guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to if you're new upscale thrift store you can donate your clothes there and then they'll sort through pick the items that they want based on the fashion sense at the time the price the season all that type of stuff your clothes shoes accessories bags all that good jazz and whatever they decide to keep they give you a certain amount of money for yeah that's what i'm doing and so okay so plato's closet is the adult version for men and women and once upon a child is the kid version so i got a couple of clothes for sonny poo that she can't fit anymore and i was like why not make some money for it because your girl did spend a lot of moolah yesterday i went through all of sonny's clothing and i picked out everything that she couldn't fit or she wouldn't be able to fit before she would be able to wear it she has like a lot of winter items that are zero to three which she can still fit zero to three but by the time winter gets here she will not be fitting zero to three so there's no point in me holding on to those outfits but yeah she got like a lot of outfits with tags on them let me see here they go right here she got a lot of outfits still on hangers tags everything that she will not get to wear because she will not be in that size once the time comes for that season i do have this one outfit that's from carter's and i'm super sad that she wasn't able to wear it because it's super cute but i asked my mom if i'm able to exchange for a different size and she said i should be able to so i may go try that and actually not donate that one but the rest of them they're like from Rosh and stuff like that and i know you need a receipt and it's like probably seven days so ain't no point even struggling with these and then whatever they can't take i'm just going to end up donating to whomever um, whatever i don't really know i also have a couple of items that i'm going to take other than clothes like i got her old diaper bag that was just like too big and bulky for me i got a carrier her bassinet that she used to sleep on um on the couch or in the bed with me but she can no longer fit that i did have to scrub that down a little bit the 
people to see it and it's like most grand condition because I promise you they're not going to want to put in that much work into a already like used item so if you want your item to sell you have to make it look presentable so that's first thing on the list number two I have to head to Walmart because Sonic Girl no longer fits size one diapers well it depends on the certain brand I have a lot of paper swaddlers size ones that come in like the bags and those are just absolutely too small like these right here she can't fit so i normally just like let her wear it in the morning time so because there's like i have a bag that i opened already so i let her wear it kind of throughout the day and i just check really often because she will pee through those like they're so short on her the parents choice brand those are a lot bigger but they also leak so we gotta go exchange those. I'm gonna get a whole bunch of size twos. I didn't bring all of my size one diapers because the overall has a lot. And that was gonna be a lot to tote around with just me and Sonny. So I only brought a few, so I'm gonna exchange now and then exchange some later. After that, I gotta go home and cook. I think we're gonna have some type of Alfredo today. I don't really know. Your girl been in her housewife mommy on a stage, okay? I have been cooking recently. I don't know what it is, but I've really been into making meals so i'm going to include that and then whatever else the day shall bring i'm pretty sure there was some other stuff that i had to do i just can't think of it right now oh i remember sunny is going to turn six months in like what two weeks i want to do of course a little photo shoot i don't want to do like a little party or a get together just because that's kind of a lot to plan last minute and plus it's just like six months i want to wait till her actual I want to wait till her actual one year old birthday. I'm going to head to Dollar Tree. I've seen a couple of TikToks and inspirations that I may want to try out and make a like balloon garland slash basket type prop for her photo shoot. So I'm gonna try and head there and see what I can get. Yeah, today's just a super exciting day. Like I said, stay tuned. Sonny's starting to fuss. What's going on? You don't have no music to listen to, Sonny Poo? What's going on? What's the matter? y'all we gotta take it over there dropped off all of Tink's stuff um they said it should be like a couple of hours I said that's fine because you know I got errands to run anyway Sonny was acting up y'all acting a complete mess up in there she was screaming and hollering this is our first time like ever really having like a little hissy fit or showing out in public and y'all I was low-key kind of embarrassed because I was already struggling trying to get the car all the way over to the car I had to keep going over all these humps they don't got no like little down pavement for you to go on like when you have a stroller or something like what in the world who designed this road but yeah so i had to keep going over all these old little hills dragging it up and down sonny in here hooping and hollering i'm trying to give her a passy she didn't want the passy i don't know how she hungry but i guess she hungry i'm feeding her or she feeding herself now y'all y'all see she holding the bottle we doing this before we head off to Walmart so I can exchange them diapers because there it should be like a Walmart somewhere over here.
big girl, sorry. Yeah, big girl. Hello, can I return these? Okay. Your feet. It just can go on a gift card, right? Well, just this whole thing, so I gotta take it off the box. So me and Tink are currently in Dollar Tree. I'm trying to find some stuff for her six month photo shoot. Look at her being so good and cute. So I found an idea on TikTok. I may put it on the screen so you guys can see the inspiration I'm going for. So I got this 20 pack of white balloons. I actually may need to get two of these. So I'm about to go get another one, hold on. So we got two 20 packs of white balloons. I'm debating if I should get the number because there's no letters here. So it's like she's not turning six, she's turning six months. But I don't know, I may end up getting some letters or something from Walmart. Last time I did that, they was like more of a rose gold than like a gold gold. So that's why I'm not too sure if I want to go ahead and pick these up or not. But, um, I may not. She being so good, y'all. We low-key matching. But I think I can always come back for those. So there's those balloons. I was going to get some pool noodles, but they're cheaper at Walmart. So I'm going to pick up some pool noodles at Walmart and just look around and see what else I can find up out of here. Wait, because these are actually really cute. I don't know. Maybe I'm doing too much, but let me do too much. and we are out of Dollar Tree. I picked up almost all of the goodies that I need to make Sonny's prop for her six month photo shoot. I still need to get some pool noodles and I believe I probably need some more hot glue stick. And I also may need some more balloons because there's only 20 in each pack. And then I also gotta get her number and letter balloons so it can say six months. So other than that, everything is Good. Walmart was a bust. I literally only got to return one pack of diapers. So I literally got like what nine dollars from that and the rest of them They said wasn't in the system I'm trying to go to Target right now and see if they take them if it's in their system I don't know where the hell they came from if I could Exchange or return or something. I don't got a receipt for them. I don't know. I don't even know if they're from here so <laughs> I guess we can see because I tried Walmart. They're not from Walmart, so eating their fingies. We don't sell it.
that my items are done being sorted through and stuff so I can come pick up my money and the rest of the items that they didn't take. On the way to go do that, Stinks back at home with my mom because all the places that we went today, it was just too much of a hassle to keep like taking her in and out of the car seat. It's burning up outside. Like just finished cooking and eating. I didn't really show you guys too much of the final product just because it wasn't as aesthetic as I thought it would come out. It came out super bomb. Like when I tell you guys it was lit, it was lit. Like 10 out of 10. Your girl didn't know she could cook. But only thing is I put too much Alfredo sauce. I knew I did once I put that little extra amount in there. I just knew it was like kind of over with. And I was gonna cook the other bag of tortellinis, but I wanted to use that for something else. Like what if I wanna like make spaghetti or something? So I didn't end up doing that, but it was way too much pasta sauce. So my mama ended up cooking some spaghetti noodles and she put that in there. So yeah, but 10 out of 10 in my book, everything was seasoned to perfection absolutely loved it but before i go to once upon a child and pick up my money my friend gabby she actually cash at me 30 dollars to buy these little pampas off me her baby janina is in size one diaper set it was like 140 count and i looked it up pamper swaddlers the brand is normally like 45.99 at the store so i just put on facebook for 30 and she said she would buy it. after that i'm going to head to walmart and pick up some more diapers just because and now that I'm getting rid of all of these, we really gonna be running low. So, and then when I get back home, I gotta give her a bath. We're gonna be using a new bathtub. <sighs> I'm kind of scared. It's like a little sitting up bathtub because in the laying down one, y'all, she she wiggles a lot. Like she wiggles too too much, and when she be wet and slippery, it just be making me nervous. We'll see how that works. You guys will see it later on in the vlog. If you keep watching, if you made it this far, like. If you haven't already, comment. If you already commented, comment something else. And subscribe. And if you already subscribed, turn on that post notification bell. I feel like I just got to say that because there's so many people that be watching my channel. It literally tells me, y'all. It'll say, like, homepage, browsing feature, like, search bar. Like, it'll tell me where most of my viewers coming from. And a lot of my people are just coming from, like, a homepage instead of, like, subscriptions. So, subscribe. Like, why are y'all keep watching and coming back and coming back and watching? If you like it, just subscribe. Like... So I just made it out of Once Upon a Child. Your girl made some money. Money, honey. So I made just about $70 today. Not even working, you guys. And not even including this video, which I'm going to get money on once I post. So $60 today, not working. I think it's good for me. They didn't take all of her little clothes. There's still some in here, but all the accessories and stuff they took, all the new clothes they took, obviously. Okay, you guys, so here is the new bathtub that I got from Ross. It was $24.99, and it's for five to 10 months old. It is a uh, bath seat. So we're gonna see if this works out a lot better than the bathtub because she does a lot of slipping and sliding. I'll turn these to the side of the bathtub. And we're gonna see if she likes it.
Stretch it out. Stretch it out. Get in shape. What is the workout song? So I'm at Walmart right now. I actually have to go into work today, but I'm here a little bit early so I can go shopping for Sunny some diapers. You guys see me try to exchange the size one diapers that she had, but for some reason I couldn't find anywhere the diapers were purchased. So I just ended up selling them online to my friend and then I also sold some of Sonny's old clothes and toys and stuff. I'm like re-saying this like y'all didn't watch the vlog. I hope y'all paid attention. But yeah, I got money from that so I'm gonna use some of that money and go get some diapers for her. I hope I don't gotta use all that money but I'm definitely gonna use some of it. But yeah, that was the whole plan because I had a whole bunch of diapers with sizes that she couldn't even use yet or like I just knew she wasn't going to be able to use because I had too many of the same size. So I was like, okay, I'll keep them. And then when the time comes, I'll exchange them for whatever size I need to exchange them for. But I think the problem with those is that it came in like one big box and I opened the box. So, and it had individual packages in it. Like the barcode on the box and the barcode on the bag are two different things. So I think that's what happened. And I got rid of the box. So... <laughs> So it is a completely different day in a completely different Walmart. I don't know why I always try to buy stuff like on the days that I work. It'll be easier since I work at Walmart to just pick it up. But when it's time to go, it's time to go. I'll be trying to good at I'll be forgetting. Basically, I'm just here trying to pick up stink some diapers. I gotta hurry up and talk because they playing a lot of music in here. I ain't trying to get copyrighted. I think I'm gonna go with this Huggies brand because I don't like the parents' choice. I mean, I like them for their prices and the sizing and stuff. It fits really good. It's just they don't hold as much. And then the Pampers, from what I'm seeing, I don't know, maybe it's just the Pampers Swaggers, they run really small and I don't like that. So I guess we're gonna try Huggies. Ended up picking up two little bags of size two Huggies, little Snuggles diapers. And then I got a box of size two diapers but i actually think i'm just gonna get a box size two a bag of size two and then a bag of size three because i still have some size two at the house and i don't really have that many size three so change of plans again i'm actually probably not going to get these because they're how much are they it's 24.94 for a pack of 72 this brand you get a pack of 96 for 19.97 and I just asked my friend about this brand. She said she hasn't tried it yet, but she heard good reviews like your baby doesn't feel wet when she actually uses it or whatever. So I actually think I'm going to try these ones and let y'all know how they work out. I'm also picking up a couple of outfits, of course, in the size three to six because they are all on sale for three dollars, y'all. So I got the shorts and the shirt. I asked somebody and they said they match, so... There's that, and then just a little onesie. Everything else that was on sale was just too hot for right now, so that's the pickup. so i think this is the style i'm gonna end up going with i really like the peach color and i did get it in nine months i was gonna get it in six but then i did the math and florida just ain't gonna be cold in the next couple of months so we're gonna exchange this one for this one i think this one is much cuter thinking that she gonna fit this one day is scary <laughs> Even more 